Should I buy or sell Microsoft? The report from Microsoft was first published on our website Thursday, January 5, 2023, but this is a more detailed version. Subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since December 29, 2022, our system ranks Microsoft as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 2.386. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 7.76%. This is an average return of minus 1.55% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Microsoft our last headline reads, Microsoft stock price ended on $222.31 on Thursday after losing 2.96%. The Microsoft stock price fell by minus 2.96% on the last day, Thursday, January 5, 2023, from $229.10 to $222.31. It has now fallen five days in a row. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.61% from a day low at $221.76 to a day high of $227.55. The price has fallen in 7 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 8.06% for this period. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 13 million shares and in total, 37 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $8.30 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $323.41, and the lowest price was $213.43. Right now the price is 31.26%, or $101.10, below 52-week high and 36.42%, or $127.36, below all-time high November 22, 2021 where the price hit $349.67. The stock lies in the lower part of a wide and weak rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $221.94 is broken, it will firstly indicate a slower rate of rising, but may also be an early warning for a trend shift. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 4.57% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 4.4% and 22.2%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 21.89% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 29.09% and minus 7.19%. This equals a price between $157.64 and $206.34 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets on Thursday, January 5, 2023, DA Davidson set price target to 270. On Wednesday, January 4, 2023, UBS set price target to 250. On Wednesday, November 2, 2022, Macquarie set price target to 234. On Thursday, October 27, 2022, Rosenblatt set price target to 285. On Wednesday, October 26, 2022 RBC Capital set price target to 310. From analysts Microsoft stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give PE ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been found for Microsoft. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The Microsoft stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, 
there will be some resistance from the lines at $234.76 and $243.85. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, December 14, 2022, and so far it has fallen minus 13.57%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 15 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 1 day ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 11 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 9 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 15 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 15 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 86 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Microsoft Microsoft finds support from accumulated volume at $221.39 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $5.79 between high and low, or 2.61%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.65%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Microsoft. The price-to-earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per-share earnings. Microsoft currently has a price-earning ratio of 25.57. This is a relatively normal price-to-earnings ratio and often seen in business with long track record or predictable revenues. Next upcoming earnings report for Q4 2022 is expected to be released Jan 24, 2023. The consensus among the analysts are $2.28. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Microsoft meets first resistance at $231.32. If you do not hold Microsoft shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Microsoft finds first level of support at $221.39 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Microsoft is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On December 15, 2022 Hoya Alice L. made an inside sell of 264,433 of common stock. On December 12, 2022 Walmsley Emma N. made an inside sell of 69,901 of common stock. On December 12, 2022 Walmsley Emma N. made an inside buy of 233 of common stock. On December 12, 2022 Thompson John Wendell made an inside buy of 297,018 of restricted stock units. On December 12, 2022 Walmsley Emma N. made an inside sell of 66,901 of common stock. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive at a ratio of 12.242. In total, the insiders bought 537,653,541 and sold 416,011,477 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Microsoft stock a buy? The Microsoft stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe Microsoft will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. 
After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Friday 6th we expect Microsoft to open up $1.56 and start trading at $223.87. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember 